Hey guys, it's John Ribs here, getting pretty excited. We're very close to releasing this game. Today I'm going to talk about the different classes in Long War 2. And rather than give you full builds and stuff like that, um, those sort of change a lot because there are so many different types of missions you can build soldiers for. And the Advanced Warfare Center actually lets soldiers get unique perks. So every soldier can be different depending on what you want to do with them. Rather than giving full builds, I'm going to sort of highlight one really cool thing that I think each class can do, and I'm going to try to pick things which are not super obvious. So I hope you guys enjoy. First soldier I'm going to talk about is the Grenadier. Now the kill everything build is still a thing. You can build down the left side of this tree and do some pretty good damage with grenades. Grenades have generally been nerfed damage wise, but enemy density has increased. So, you know, they deal a little bit less damage, but some more enemies probably. I want to point out the right side of the tree. There's a very strong support grenadier build now. You just saw me throw a sting grenade at some advent that has a 50% chance to stun anything that it can stun. And this is a ghost grenade. Uh, can target any of our soldiers, puts them in a cloud of smoke, and conceals them. So there's a lot of room to play around with support grenades on Grenadiers now, and that's really cool with the stealth feel of some missions in the game. Next up, let's look at the Assault. Now, I've never been a big fan of soldiers who have to get in close to deal damage in XCOM games. It just means you can't really stand many places. But in Long War II, there are missions where you really expect to get up close and personal with aliens. This mission is a rendezvous where we've discovered Faceless in a haven and our haven advisor is leading some rebels to take them out. And this is going to turn into a brawl every time. And I just love what assaults can do on these missions in particular. Check out this Faceless uh, running up to me, failing to hit me because of Untouchable and <laughs> hitting his friend. And then they line up perfectly for a trench gun activation on the next turn. Assaults can just really get in the thick of things better than most other soldiers. Alright, next up I want to talk about the Ranger. The Ranger is your pretty normal infantry class, shoots twice a turn at squatty, is good at shooting. I want to showcase this both barrels ability I'm using here though. All classes have a unique secondary, and Rangers is my favorite. It's a sawn off shotgun and it comes into battle with two ammo, and you can unload both of those at once if you want, or one at a time. But both of them at once will deal 11 to 19 damage with a ballistic tier secondary, like your rangers at the start of the game have that. It's crazy! Here I just used it to take out a relay in a little over turn, get the objective and get out. This is just a two-man squad on a short infiltration. But obviously you can use that to kill most anything that you're meeting at the start of the game. Let's talk about shinobis next. You're going to get these missions with like three days expiration and you're going to wonder what to do. And the answer is to send a shinobi. Uh, just like give it a try. See if you can complete the objective. You should be able to evac out safely if you cannot. If shinobis feel weak to you in this game, it's probably my fault. And it's probably because of how horrifically I broke the game with them when they were stronger. Here you're seeing me on a mission to rescue some rebels who have been captured by Advent. First thing I'm doing is locating drones and stuff like that, making sure that they don't detect me and I can run around them. I'm in the objective room. JL has made pods stand directly on top of the objective so that I can't do this and I'm still doing it. And now we're running our new rebels out. Yeah, maybe next time advent. I need an evac here. So perhaps the most common pairing in this game is the specialist with the shinobi. The shinobi has all the stealth perks and the infiltration bonuses. The specialist is unmatched at the ability to complete objectives from just anywhere on the map, basically. I just started this turn with one turn left before this container detonates. It was not in vision. It was about 28 tiles away from me, I'm gonna say. All I have to do is walk forward, hack the chest, and I've won the mission. Um, evac is arriving in one turn, but all I have to do is survive the sectoid and two advent troopers shooting at me, and we're out with a win. Okay, we've seen some stealthy clips. This is not exactly what technicals do. I'm gonna let the clip speak for itself here. 
While it's playing, I want to talk a little about about Rocket Scatter. It's been implemented in a really cool way, which uses dice against the soldier's aim value. So if it says max scatter four tiles, you're rolling four dice and you're trying to roll below the soldier's aim value with modifiers for weapon range on the rocket and anything else that's messing with the aim value. Every dice that fails increases the scatter of the rocket by one tile. And you can see a spreadsheet which shows exactly where rockets are expected to land linked below this video. Probably my favorite missions in the game are Sharpshooter Shinobi tag teams for neutralized target missions. The formula is very simple. You scout out with the Shinobi, find the target, get a clear line of sight for the Sharpshooter, ideally while the Sharpshooter is standing in the evac zone so the Advent has absolutely no chance to retaliate, take the shot and rope out. Easy mission win. Um, I also want to talk about the Hollow Targeter build because it's really cool and really strong. The Hollow Targeter is the unique secondary for the Sharpshooter, and the perks which are strong on the Hollow Targeter sort of line up really well, such that you can take them along with good damage perks for shooting. So you can make very strong hybrid builds out of that. Last but not least is the Gunner. I don't have any super interesting clip for the Gunner because what they do isn't that super interesting. They just very consistently murder Advent and aliens. And I guess that's okay too. There are some really cool stationary builds with gunners. Uh, lots of cone attacks, lots of multi attacks. Area suppression can fire more than once. So if one guy runs while area suppressed, it doesn't take away suppression for all the other guys. Hmm. There's some pretty fun stuff to play around with here. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like or a comment. These are not the sorts of videos I usually make, so any sorts of constructive criticisms or feedback that I can get would be hugely appreciated. If you want to see some more of my content, please feel free to click on links that are up on the screen right now, or stop by my Twitch channel where, I mean, if the world is still existing, I'm probably playing Long War II there right now. So I would love to see you there, hang out, and play some video games, maybe uh, get annihilated by some aliens and lose control of the planet Earth. Uh, <laughs> yeah, have an awesome day, night, evening, whatever it is, you guys, and I hope to see you next time.